Hello everyone, B.O.B. here and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to fill up some water bottles. So this came up in conversation the other day between a friend and myself. Uh, he asked me if it was possible to automate the process of filling bottles with water uh, for his automatic potion brewer he has set up in his world. And I said, yeah, yeah, if that's possible. But I didn't even realize how easily that could be done when I was telling him that it was possible. Uh, it wasn't until I decided to jump into a creative testing world and tackle the project uh, that, that I realized how simple this is. So this is uh, what I did come up with in the end. Uh, and, and I'll be honest, I, was, I started out by completely overcomplicating the thing. Uh, but up here I got my input chest. I got 10 empty glass bottles here. I'm just going to go ahead and drop them in that input chest. And you can just see this thing get right to work. And it's dropping full bottles just almost instantly. <laughs> uh, there you go. There's your 10 full bottles of water. Uh, so how it all works. Uh, dispenser facing a water source. Uh, with an empty bottle inside. If you power that dispenser, it'll fill the bottle with water. But if it's a full bottle of water inside, it'll spit that bottle out. So really, all you got to do is just put that water source over top of hopper and wire up an auto dropper circuit to your dispenser and then give yourself an input. I mean, I mean that's it. <laughs> it's uh, really simple. Uh, I'm kind of surprised at how easy it turned out to be. So the materials you're going to need to do this, you can find in this chest here. And, uh, well, for this particular build, I'm going to be using three chests. Uh, so that's one for my input. I'm going to use two for the output. Now, keep in mind that a full water bottle isn't stackable, so it'll fill up a double chest pretty quick if you drop, like, a whole bunch of bottles in this thing at once. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I'm going to use a double chest as my output. You might want to go a little bit bigger if you're going to be using this on an industrial level or, uh, you know, even just have it feeding directly into your automatic potion brewer if, if that's what you're using it for. Uh, but you will need also two hoppers, one dispenser, one redstone comparator, one sticky piston, two observers, uh, a few building blocks of your choice, not exactly five, but... Uh, I mean, really only one needs to be a solid block. Everything else could be any, you know, whatever block you choose. We will be putting in some temporaries and things like that. Uh, you want probably three glass blocks. These don't have to be glass. It's just so you can kind of see inside the system to know that it's working. Uh, and then uh, you will need just the one bucket of water to, well, draw your water from. Now, as usual, I have outlined the build area for this particular build, and in this case, it is a 4x5 area. Uh, but, you know, you take a look at the original build I got here, you got some room to cut some corners, so... And, uh, the whole thing's not very tall, three blocks tall. Now, to get started here, I want to come to the front of our 4x5 area here. And I want to come one block in, and I want to place my collection chest, with double chest right there. And then feeding into the side of that double chest, we want to place a hopper. Make sure you crouch place that. And then right behind that hopper, go ahead and place a solid block or any block. It's just going to be temporary. So we can place a dispenser right on top of that. So its face is pointing right over top of that hopper. So we can go ahead and get rid of that temporary block. We don't need that in there anymore. And we can right beside that dispenser right behind your chest you do want to place another block and this one is going to be permanent so we can place our comparator down and we want that comparator feeding into a solid block so I'm going to go ahead and pillar up and then just break away that bottom block so we got that block in place there and right up against the side of that block I want to or well I guess it would be the back from the front of the machine we want to place a sticky piston. We want the face of that sticky piston to be coming right back towards that dispenser. Now what we're going to want to do is come around here to the front of the machine and look at the face of that sticky piston. And you want to place your observer right there. So you should see this little redstone bump sticking out right in between those two 
Well, well, between those torches on the comparator there. Next, we want to come back around to the back of the machine. And then we're coming one block away from this dispenser. So not this block here, but this one right here. We're going to place a temporary block down on that. Just so we can place our second observer on top of that temporary block. And we can get that temporary out of there. That's all the redstone circuits are done. <laughs> that, that's it. That's all you need to do. Just an auto dropper circuit powering a dispenser. Uh, next we need to get our water source in place. So to hold that water source in there, I'm going to use glass. So I'm going to start out by crouch placing one glass block on top of the chest there. I'm going to put a temporary block right over top of that hopper beside that glass block. Just so I can place two more glass blocks on the other two sides of that temporary block. Now we'll break that out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and replace it with my water source. Next you're going to want to cap this whole thing off. Uh, so I'm just going to place a solid block on top of the hole but you could do that with a half slab or probably even a trap door uh, but the whole thing is is uh, when it's spitting out the full water bottles every now and again those full water bottles will just kind of pop out the top and then land on the ground you, you don't want that you want them to kind of stay in that water source block so that way they'll get picked up by the hopper uh, so the next thing we need to do is put in another hopper and this is going to f just be the main input for your dispenser here so come along to the side of your dispenser we just want to crouch place that hopper right there and then we can get up on top of this thing here and we're gonna crouch place a chest right on top of that hopper and that's gonna be our main input chest where you're putting your empty water bottles and that's it that's the whole build it's so so easy to do uh, and it's rather compact for for something that could be quite quite useful and so just a quick demo to show you that this one works exactly the way the the first one I showed you works we can throw our 10 empty bottles in here and see it get right to work and we have a look inside this chest we see our bottles coming in <laughs> that easy um, yeah, you know, do keep in mind, you know, those, those four full water bottles aren't stackable, so you want an ample storage system here, either that or have it feeding directly into your, your potion brewing system, you know, what, whatever you might be using them for, I guess that, that is what you would be using them for, but, uh, whatever means, just make sure you got plenty of room to store the amount of bottles that you're putting in there. So my friends, that completes today's tutorial, and if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please remember to hit that like button, and of course, if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching, and wish you all a wonderful day!